Let's do some news. My name is Mike B, aka Phony. Today's date is February. What the fuck? Mar April. It's April already. It's April already. Thirtieth. It's gonna be May. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You hadn't heard that yet today, have you? Have you? It's April thirtieth, two thousand twenty-one. The time is three nineteen. Redo. Start over. Start over. Wrong month. I know. God. What's up, YouTube? Chat, say hi to YouTube. YouTube boy. And you guys as well, chat. Lovely co-hosts. Uh, today, is a, today is an interesting episode. Every episode is interesting. I wouldn't do a show unless there was something interesting. Like the Josh Swain battle. I told y'all it was going to happen. And what happened? It happened. Right? It happened. It became a thing. <laughs> I've unsubbed from those subreddits now because now the joke's getting old. But uh, little Josh won, by the way. He's like five years old or something like that. He had a Burger King crown put on his head and it fell over his face and they held him up so that he could see everybody and he couldn't see shit. <laughs> so good. Good. Good for little Josh. He deserved it. A hard fought battle. <laughs> <laughs> it was cute though. It was it was some good wholesome fun. Um, I saw a lot of comments like super spreader event. Hey man, maybe, but like, isn't like fifty percent of adults now like you know actually been stabbed already, right? Something like that. It's some crazy number. Maybe it's just California or something like that. But yeah, like a lot of people have already been vaccinated. So hopefully some of them were. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what that number looks like for people between twenty and for Josh Swain between the ages of twenty and thirty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll be the only Josh left because I didn't go. <laughs> That's how it works. So the one Josh Sway that didn't go. Uh, people are not going back for the second shot. What is with that? Why? Why are people not going back for the second shot? Just you just go. The fifty percent was national, but no, seriously, just you got the first one. Do you think that's enough? You just fucking go. That's so it's so it's so odd. It's so odd. What is it like in the UK? Because I know the UK, they were just like, fucking vaccinate everyone with the first shot and we'll figure out shit for the second shot. Like, are you guys like are you guys good with like second shots and everything? Are people getting them? I assume that people not getting the second shot, I assume that's a US thing, because it's a very US thing to do, right? It's like, oh, I'm not going to wear a mask. <sighs> I'm not going to get the vaccine. <sighs> okay, fine, I'll get the vaccine. But I'm not getting the second shot. It's like, oh, fuck. Why? Why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> are you doing this to yourself? Uh, people like, got to get it being uh, totally, mostly safe. I'm mostly safe. Yeah, mo mate, meh. It's enough. I only need the first shot. I got a good immune system. <laughs> we were booked in for the second shot. We got the first. Mine's due June, June 6th. Okay, cool. So I book you for the second one. Oh man! <laughs> so you're not finishing courses in a, uh, of uh, of antibiotics. You know, when it's a good point. I mean, there's probably some correlation there, right? There's a lot of people who would get like a, a Z pack, a Zithromax pack, which is like seven pills or something like that, and you take like two the first day and then one for the next five days or whatever. Uh, and that's uh, you know that's your antibiotics like thing, but people will not finish it, and they tell you, they tell you, they fucking tell you, right? Ask somebody who worked in a pharmacy. Who was giving out Z packs when they first came out? We're like, hey, hey, you need to take all of them because if you don't take them all, then you're just gonna make it mad. You're just gonna make it mad. That's all. You're just gonna be upset. You're gonna get to the point. It's gonna be like, oh, it's gonna come back for the second, like the fucking Undertaker. All right, you're just gonna piss it off. You have to take all of them. Ah, ah. I have a second today, I feel a little ill, malaise in my arm, a little sore. But she stabbed me. Oh yeah, the arm, the sore from the arm thing. Yeah, that that was the thing for me too. I was like, damn, man, what are you doing? She was so sweet too, just tiny little petite. She was like making fun of my name and everything. Oh, you're so sweet. She just comes in, <laughs> comes in with the hammer. Uh, got your first shot last Wednesday, Jairul. Good, good. See, I mean, it's easy. Just go get it. And then get your get your get your second one. You're good. Uh, when driving, holding the seatbelt works good enough. <laughs> <laughs> just hold, I'll just hold it. It's fine. I've done that a few times though, where I'm like, for some reason, just too lazy to click it. You know, I'm just like, ah oh, man, I'm just gonna drive down the street. It's fine. Just pull it over my shoulder. It's like the there's a cop, cop, 
resistant <laughs> technique. <laughs> Insert Undertaker sit up gif here. Exactly. Uh, human logic is flawed as video game logic. Yep. It's going to toss you off a cell like Undertaker tossed mankind off the cage in a hell of a cell match. <laughs> like that time. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Well, well, uh, <laughs> Dr. Joe Rogan told me I'll be fine without it. Listen, I'm not going to sit here with no PhD in any kind of medical field, smoking a cigar with an American flag behind my back and tell you that you shouldn't take the fucking vaccine, all right? Bill Burr, 2020, wise man. <sighs> At least it's not India. I mean, damn, yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. At least it's, yeah, they're, they're, they're in a bad way. They're in a bad way for sure. Uh, why not just get a sh why not just get a shirt that has a seatbelt printed on it? <laughs> oh no, because that's what <laughs> that's the shit that'll make you a meme when you die in a car accident. It's like, well, he was wearing a shirt with a seatbelt on it. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> but he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Like, if you want to have your name, if you want to be the internet guy for the week, right? Like, that's it, man. That's it. That's how you do it, right there. A shirt belt. Uh, bro, I got a degree. You know what it told me? That I'm a fucking idiot. Exactly. Exactly. The more you learn, the more you realize how much you don't know. Right? And that's the problem. If you never get started with learning, then you just assume that you fucking know everything. I just had this discussion about fucking photographers who have, like, one cool thing they do, and that's the only thing that they do, and they shit on other photographers because they don't do their thing or whatever, whatever weird, like, megalomania complex or whatever they have, and they just shit on other photographers because of blank. I don't understand these guys. You don't know shit. You got a projector and a fucking fog machine. Fuck. Anyways. So, fucking triggered. I know, I'm sorry. If you don't use Sepia, you're a pussy. Exactly, exactly. Sunday's back. Hey, Sunday, you're back. Nice to see you. Well, <clears throat> mega triggered. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, speaking of being that one guy for the week, let's do a recap. Let's do a recap. Last week, I believe, we talked about the hot tub stream meta. And I told you guys, I said, I don't care if they're doing hot, hot tub shit. I don't care if they're doing whatever. If Twitch is somehow saying that it's fine, who the fuck am I, right? I'm not going to sit here without my Twitch mod hat and fucking tell you <laughs> that it's bad. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so... The problem that I had was that it was an, it was a gateway. It was too easy for you to get to some of their illicit content, explicit content, uh, which to me was clearly the intent of the streams. Right? Um, it was not. It was not because I like sitting in a cold ass pool in the middle of my fucking apartment. Please don't tell my landlord that I put all this water in the middle of my fucking carpet for like 12 hours a day changing outfits every 30 minutes <laughs> like all that weight oh my god <laughs> why so it's yeah we're doing the news for the hot tub yeah exactly it was it was just too it, it, it was too accessible because why because because they were sending out messages like this that were just like you know Amaranth sent you a message. Fun links. Join my OnlyFans today and get a free full fucking probably free full fucking something. I don't know. Full video or something. Uh, and so that was the problem. It was just too easy to just go. You go to Booba TV, click on one of the click on one of the shows, one of the links, and then click on, you know, whatever their their chat bot's putting in there, and then you can go to their site and then you fucking go to OnlyFans. It was just like, like that's fucked up. Because I have an OnlyFans, but I know damn well, I know damn well. That I can't promote it. I know. Fuck, there's no way. There's no way I could promote an OnlyFans. Right? They'll be like, no. Banned. There's no fucking way, dude. I'm not even going to risk that. And Twitch's DJ Wheat, Marcus. You guys know who he is? He's the silver fox that you guys see whenever you go to uh, TwitchCon. And he usually hosts the shows and all that stuff. Right? Um, so he... Uh, in collaboration with Twitch, they have a new show that they're doing called Let's Chat, right? So there is a, <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, this is the first show like this in a while, right? So you can imagine there's probably a lot of, uh, you know, a, a lot of just like pent up mads. You know, the hot tub meta is a, is a is a very big thing lately. There's some other stuff we're gonna talk about in a minute, but it's it's it's, it's there's definitely some pent up mads. People are upset because. And let me show it. Let me see if I can find this here real quick. Let me see. Uh, here we go. Let me pull up this video here. That's like really fucking loud. If I can, never mind. I can't find it. Um, <clears throat> but people are, you know, upset that they are competing with a hot tub streamer. Now, I said before, we were talking about me doing a hot tub stream. And I was like, hmm. I don't know if I want to. I know that if I did something like that as a joke in my real hot tub. I know that I would probably attract the kind of people that I don't necessarily want to be a part of this community, right? We have a pretty tight community here, you know? Our Discord's pretty tight. Do you guys really want me to like, for example, go and play Grand Theft Auto for like a week and pull in the kind of people that we sometimes see? Not all of them, right? Not all of them. I'm some, you know, I'm a, I'm a content creator that wants to grow, but I want to be picky. I want to, I don't want to destabilize my shit, you know? So please, no, exactly, exactly. Best Discord community, that's right, it is. Thank you. Socks with sandals, number one. That's me. Socks with sandals guy. <laughs> or electrocute yourself in a hot tub. Do we would troll them so hard they run away. Man, I don't know if you know some of these guys. <laughs> so... Twitch did, Twitch did, or sorry, uh, well, Twitch, but DJ Wheat did a show, and in it, he addresses the hot tub meta. So let's watch some of this here. We understand at Twitch that this has been getting a lot of attention from the community lately, and we have been watching closely. Our nudity and attire policy does allow bathing suits in an appropriate context and hot tubs do fall under that criteria. However, what has not changed is the sexually suggestive and explicit content is not allowed under the guidelines under the TOS and Twitch will take action when that is reported to us. So, so he goes on, he goes on to talk about, by the way, I, I love the like Quicksilver, like kind of Mr. Rogers kind of like cosplay look he's got going on. Damn. So he goes on to discuss how you can go to the front page of, of, of Twitch. And if you don't like certain streams, you could add them to like, I'm not interested in this content. You know, you click on it. I'm not interested in the content. You kind of mute those people. So you can never see them again. So if you're seeing Amaranth and you're bitching about Amaranth, right? That's kind of on you. You can mute those and just never see them again, right? So he talks about this a little bit. He gives he gives an idea. He gives a, 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 an example. Oh, Soldier 76, a little bit, huh? He gives an example of all this stuff. Now, <clears throat> like I said before, like, it's too... When he says that there's no no explicit content, no sexual content or whatever, let's go to... And, and I'm, I, I don't know who's streaming right now. This is all live, right? Let's go to a site and let's go to, like... Let's go to the number one here. This is not a hot tub streamer, by the way. It's just on Booba. Actually, we'll go to hot tub streamer. Let me see. Someone with a hot tub. Someone with a hot tub. We got a couple here, a couple here, a couple here. Let me see. It's Friday, man. What's going on? Where are the hot tubs at? Um, let me see. Uh, does she have a link to, like, a link stream or something? OnlyFans soon. Okay. Well, she's, she doesn't have OnlyFans yet, but she's working on it. So it'll come back soon. She'll come back to that later. Uh, Amaranth is here. We already know Amaranth has a... We already know she does because she advertises it through the Twitch uh, alert system. Is she fucking sleeping? Oh, this is weird. Uh, she she was streaming for a long time in that hot tub. So I guess it's sleep stream. This is so weird. Why do people fucking sleep? Just leave this thing up for a minute. Um, <laughs> look at that one. Uh, see, uh, as long as they give us free subs to their OnlyFans, we will look the other way. Yeah, you know, that's that's uh, it's it's an ongoing thing about like uh, a joke about you know they just like give people give people. I can't watch your fucking sleep, dude. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I can't do it. Um, Mike, me sleep stream. I thought that was not okay on toss. Uh, you know what? I don't know what the rules are. I mean, I, you get out of you get out of uh, a hot tub and then you turn around and you jump in the um, you, you go to sleep. Like I don't know, man. I feel like there's, there's I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, 
Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, this wasn't hard. All right. So here's here's Liz Hardy. All right. Here's Liz Hardy. Um, this is a uh, uh, she's she's got a real she's got a real bikini. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did it? Oh, did, it, did she end the stream? <laughs> I was gonna say she has a real hot tub. <laughs> she has a real hot tub. Uh, it looks like she may have just ended the stream. I'm not sure. Uh, she got a real bikini too. <laughs> she knew. She knew. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Well, her most recent video is still up. It's, it's all you have to subscribe. Okay. Well, you know what? I said subscribe. You're probably your only fans right here. Uh, so, I mean, let me click on it real quick. Make sure that this stuff is. Uh, can we watch? Can we look at this? Let me see. I'm clicking on it. Let me see. Only fans. Okay. Everything here. So, yeah, here we go. For uh, $14.99 a month. Here we go. So, here's what she's selling. Again, just took two clicks. Just took two clicks. Right? Right from her fucking front page. It says what kind of uh, weekly and bi-weekly videos explicit with nudity. Ooh, cool. So yeah, it's like it's it the context and intent the context and intent thing, like it doesn't really apply here because clearly they're selling a product. They're selling a product. <sighs> Amaranth just fucking emails you, man. She'll just send you the link directly. Just send it to you directly. <sighs> Who was that by the way? Because damn, I want to save that one. I'm gonna subscribe. <laughs> so this argument comes up a lot. This argument comes up a lot right here. It says, <clears throat> what happens if a young girl under the age of 18 decides to do a hot tub stream like the ones we are seeing and just chatting at the moment? Am I still to believe this is not sexual content? If so, is nothing stopping a 13 year old child from exposing her body on your site? So this argument has come up a lot. And let me tell you, uh, uh, I had to go through and dig through this goddamn Twitch TOS to find this. But in the Twitch toss, it says, Right here in fine print, it says it says any uh, nudity, sexual content, sexual violence, or sexual exploitation that involves minors appears to involve minors or depictions of minors or content that encourages or promotes pedophilia. So, if somebody under the age, a young, a, a boy or a girl, uh, decides that they want to stream a hot tub stream. And Twitch acts on it, saying you can't do this because it is sexual adjacent, right? And you are underage, you're a minor. That would be, that would be acknowledging that all the rest of the hot tub streams would be sexually explicit or sexual adjacent or whatever we're calling it. So... This is definitely a bit of a pickle for Twitch because all it takes is for someone to do it. And then even if this streamer has like, you know, one viewer and some new site picks it up, it's like Twitch is encouraging hot tub streams with minors. Oh boy, fucking Tucker's gonna be all over that shit. I said, if Twitch is making them on the call, then does it make them look bad too? Uh, so basically, if a kid does it, they got to ban the hot tub meta. Yeah. Uh, so, we, <laughs> so we need one kid to take the fall for this. <laughs> we, need, we need one kid with no aspirations to be a streamer ever to just, just once. No, this is terrible. This is a terrible line of thought, man. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a child under the hot tub bus. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the title of the show. Throw a child under the hot tub bus. Oh no. Uh, that sounds terrible. My God, it's too real. It's. I mean, it's. Tr it's true because the rules say. The rules say. So if you do this, then you also got to do this. It makes things kind of fuzzy, right? <sighs> So remember, remember this again. Let's start that real quick. Okay, where you go. Uh, context. So when we're applying the community guidelines, we very specifically take context and intent into account. Mm -hmm. So if someone walks up to you on the street and shoves you, that's one thing. If someone walks on down the street and they trip and they push you, it might look, if just an outsider looking at the uh, a video of that action, like it looks the same. Mm -hmm. But... It's not the same. Your intent matters. Uh, and we are going to stand by that. Um, I think that's critical uh, context. So 
it loops really well actually uh so this was uh 2019 twitchcon the last twitchcon that we had and emmett Shear, ceo he's talking about you know context matters this is where this is where the whole context and intent came from all right I go, this is the guy to bow tie. Bow tie. Yeah, we will. Oh, well, you know, we all work for him right now. Well, I do anyway. So, uh, <clears throat> so it's funny you mentioned you want to earn a free copy of Pokemon Snap. Context and intent. Last night, I had a friend text me, and he was like, "Lol, Amaranth changed her." And I'm not picking on her, but she's the one that's she's cleverly getting around the rules all the time. So she changed her game so that way she could still be featured on the front page. And I went and looked, and sure enough. There's a hot tub stream with a copy of with, with playing Pokemon Snap though. This is the front page. This is incognito. Okay? Incognito. So the live channels we think you'll like is just the regular everyday person coming in front and center. Front and center. Woo, woo, woo. Even over here on the side, we have Amareth wearing a fucking basically looks like, but it's not, it's a bathing suit top, but it looks like lingerie. Where their fucking titties hanging out. So, but just, she's in a hot tub though. Is this the is this the new variation of the meta? Is this the variation of the meta here? We're like, maybe we can't have hot tub streams and just chatting, but maybe we could play games. Hot tub gamers, that's right. Hot tub gamers, that's the next one. That's the next one right there. I mean, sure. OSHA might be upset. <laughs> sure, sure. Safety measures and all that. You know? You know? Sure. But I thought I just walked into Michael again at Pornhub. Yeah, for reals. You want, hey, let's just get some people in here. We'll just do this. We'll just do this for a minute. And we'll talk about this. Get that thumbnail, boy. <laughs> OSHA has no power here, but this is a working environment, isn't it? This is a work environment. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ah, it's safe. She's in a rubber hot tub. She's grounded. Totally grounded. Came home and just said, I did the just chatting session on Twitch. Watch me get banned for some content like this. Please, please, please. Oh my God. I would, I would, I would be, uh, I would not be upset. I'd be upset because you know, I have to find something to do for a week. Just be sad. Uh, but I would also probably laugh at the whole thing. So, <clears throat> you know, talk about content and intent. The live view. I mean, we already went through uh, Twitch. The live view right now. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, she's on right now. Oh, no, that's me. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> wow, see, it works. It works. So, yeah, you, I mean, we go, to, we, go to, we go to just chatting right now. And, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, context. You know, what is it? Context intent right context intent you know the context intent what is their, their body painting they're allowed to do that they're 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 on the beach they're allowed to do that's fine all this stuff allowed to do that it's totally fine she's playing games with like i mean there used to be a rule about not having a low-cut shirt or something like that wasn't there a rule about that i mean i'm not trying to hate on her or anything like that <laughs> that's a pretty small game window though but it's, there used to be a rule about that and that i don't know what happened I don't know what happened. Who's it? Let me see. Chicken wing candy. Break. She got. She got a Twitter. She got a Twitter. Hold on. She got Instagram. Hold on a second. I'm just going. Whoop. Anyway, so yeah, it used to. It used to be rules. So you can't do that. But you know, man, that sure can be. Can't be any lower. Exactly. No, they used to get on people for reals. They used to get on women for not for having uh, 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 shirts that were cut too low. That was a thing. Um, <clears throat> Twitch mods start uh, paying like a set of penny of them. Maybe it was a typo. Corporate email. God. <laughs> oh, they ban guys from wearing no shirt. That's right. Yeah. Are, we, are, are guys allowed to not wear shirts now? No, probably not because we have nipples. So I think the nipples are really the problem. Um, again, again. Context intent. Context intent. Okay. This guy's toast. The guy who barely ever streams on Twitch, right? He was banned. He says, I got a temp ban from Twitch. Not a big deal since I don't usually stream there, but it does mean I have to avoid playing with any of my friends for a few days. It's for unmoderated hateful conduct. All right. And he says, didn't get specific as a reason, but if I had to guess, I was watching an old Twitch clip of mine that includes a toxic player using the F slur against me. We'll try to be more careful in the future. All right. Context intent. All right. 
context and intent. Apparently doesn't apply here either. Why is it that? Why is it the context and intent thing just like fucking randomly applies? It just feels like, and I, I, I know I'm just, I'm being facetious here, but it feels like it's just so fucking random sometimes, man. It's just so fucking random. Now, I'm not going to say, I'm not saying that, you know, any any mod or any whatever or any admin is getting free access to OnlyFans or any of that shit, right? Because I, I don't think that's completely true. Now, maybe there's instances of it happening, right? We've heard about some other employees that were kind of involved with stuff like that. But it does seem weird. It does seem weird. Uh, why does Hassan Piker uh, make more than Amareth than when all he does is yell and scream? Exactly like they do on Fox News. <clears throat> I don't know. Why does he make so much? Uh, they want you to think that there's context intent, but nothing's changed. Random content, random context and random intent. There were rules then. I think some of those streamers went to TwitchCon and did a few. <sighs> so I don't think that because I, I don't think that's happening, man. I, I don't think that's happening. But I mean, like maybe it has happened in some in some you know in some situations. Maybe that has happened, right? Like, but. I mean, again, like there was the, the, you know, Hassan, uh, not Hassan Abi, but yeah, Hassan, whatever his last name, different Hassan, um, where, uh, he was allegedly showing nudes of a partner on YouTube or on Twitch to other people. So it kind of added weight to the whole thing of like, you know, whatever they get special favors, some shit, but it's, it's, but I mean, who cares, man? You know, like if I could send a dick pic to somebody and then like never get banned, then great. I would take the best dick pic you guys have ever seen. But I don't have that luxury. <laughs> so I can't speak as to whether or not it's something that's uh, that's true, you know? Um, oh, zebrio has got inside information. See, I can't I can't perpetuate rumors, though, just so you guys know. You guys may have facts. You guys may have facts or whatever, inside info and all that stuff. Um, but all I, I, always, I, can't, I can't perpetuate the rumors and stuff, okay? <clears throat> the dick pics are underwhelming at best. What? What? Um, when it comes up to post, I have never seen a group of people drop the N-bomb as much as young adults of Asian descent. Has he? Oh, well, I mean, you know, if he has in the past, whatever, he could join the club of PewDiePie and everything. He did gamer moment, whatever. But in the context here, I don't think he said that. I don't think Disguised Toast said, uh, it said, it said anything that got him banned. I think it had to do with, because it said unmoderated hateful conduct had it probably had to do with what he was watching. And again, like I said, context, right, right. Intent. Okay. So. Could be got banned for sending pictures with the letter D. I know I heard about that. <laughs> well, they're banning her for anything right now. So, uh, so we did the show. We did the show, and uh, naturally, everyone's gonna get up in arms about it, right? Now, I will say, as 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 somebody, you know, like. I know, I know we, not, not, not well, right? Like, I call him we, I don't call him Marcus. Like everyone calls him Marcus. I don't know him well enough to call him Marcus, right? But, like, I've met him a few times. Uh, I know him from, like, some of the communities that we were kind of both in. Um, but I have to say, though, not every, not every part of this, uh, of this whole presentation of trying to open the door to communicate with, with uh, the community went probably as good as it could have. And I think part of the blame is on wheat. And the reason why is because because wheat's going to wheat, right? Like Marcus is definitely somebody who speaks his mind, which we appreciate. Um but at the same time, we have to remember that he's a Twitch employee. He's a face of Twitch, right? So <clears throat> he says he says here um this is on his personal account. Someone says, severely disappointed at DJ Wheat and Twitch's response to the hot tub meta. Uh, what even is that wording? So it is incredibly clear you have not watched more than two minutes of any of these streams, or you don't know your own terms of service. Reporting systems have done nothing. And Wheat says, you are correct. I have not watched more than two minutes of those streams because that's not what I watch on Twitch. He's trying to promote that you don't have to watch it. It's there. You don't have to watch it. 
Uh, and he said, and he says, that is not a valid response to a pervasive issue that promotes blatant violation of terms of service. And he says, we covered this in a bit more detail in yesterday's Let's Chat stream and made it clear with the, the terms and service, uh, the, the trust and safety team uh, was aware of this and was watching it closely. My response has nothing but, was nothing but honesty around how we, I have not watched more than two minutes of these streams. And it says, wait, if you're, we were hosting a stream segment about the topic, why wouldn't you watch at least more than two minutes to educate yourself on the topic beforehand? I said, let's be real. You don't have to watch the content to understand why people have concerns, why people are upset, why there is confusion. I'm not sure why people equate time view to an understanding of the issue. It's pretty simple. I agree with them on this. He probably could have said something like this earlier. <laughs> this part, this part, we'll just, just, just this, this part right here. Okay. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? This part, this part here. Oh, it's the wrong color. Okay. Right here. This part here. Okay. Needs to go. How do I do this? This part. Okay, stop. <laughs> needs to go here. All right, right here. It needs to go here. Wait, please. <laughs> so it, the conversation goes on. People are obviously upset with the way that he approached the situation. And everything. Uh, I've I've intera I've interacted with him before. He's not somebody who. Uh, he's never been somebody to to corporate speak people right never I've, I've had an interaction directly with him on twitter as a matter of fact and uh he doesn't come across as somebody who uh like directly he will never come across as somebody who is like basically spouting corporate speak and all that stuff um people watching the content are the ones with the concerns of the people bitching aren't watching though uh, honestly, I don't care if girls hot tub screens on Twitch. Hell, I wouldn't care if uh, they did actual adult content as long as enforced moderation is the same for everyone. I disagree. His answer is making assumptions based on something that he was not has, he has not experienced, and that's plain wrong. So yeah, okay. Well, we got what we got differing opinions here. This is good. Well, more people are obviously upset. A lot of attention. You know, like what do they say? They say. Every day there's the person who's somebody who's that person on the internet. Uh, and while we may have not been the one, he's pretty fucking close <laughs> the past 24 hours. Uh, and so, so then the subject comes up and, and this is the same thread, right? Uh, and it says here it says why was Destiny banned? Then people are less upset about the transformation of Twitch into softcore porn than they are about the inconsistency of rules. Guarantee if a dude started lubing up or doing yoga in a thong, they'd be banned in five minutes. So it says why was Destiny banned? Then he said probably lost a debate, which I think is fucking hilarious. I think that is fucking hilarious. Uh, and it says Destiny fans are gonna foam at the mouth over this tweet. Poor DJ Wee is it? Are they gonna post the same clip they've been posting for nine years? <laughs> <laughs> so so yes there was there, there there is a clip from nine years ago and you know what i have clips from nine years ago that i am embarrassed about but this shit is hilarious okay yeah I'm I think I just realized. so for context for context they're talking about the future of starcraft here right and what's going on with, with, with in terms of like how they're doing you know how they're handling starcraft with uh, in like south korea and all that and so this is dj we on the phone uh and he's talking to um he's talking to we have uh, sorry this is uh, destiny on the phone and we have dj we uh pain user idra and uh in control uh god rest his soul so is actually what we're going to do. This is the plan, okay? We continue to do nothing and wait, and eventually all of the Korean players are going to be switching over to LoL because Korea is huge <laughs> on that shit now. And then once they switch over, people like uh, Idra and In Control can go back to winning tournaments. I think that's the plan right now. I love you guys Steven. very much. Peace out. Oh, wow. Uh, I hate we had to go down that fucking road. What happened? You know what? You that know was such a fucking pussy ass bitch cop out. I can't even fucking. Yeah, that's right. I'm wearing fucking pajama pants. <laughs> now this is long, this is before you worked at Twitch. Okay, just so you guys know. All right, all right. Again. <laughs> Fuck, man. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm not a Destiny fan at all, man. Fuck that guy. <laughs> so this one clip. This one clip is the clip that. Every Destiny fan has on fucking speed dial on a fucking macro key somewhere on the keyboard that anytime fucking DJ Wee comes up or he says anything in any kind of proximity 
to Destiny, they have to pay, post, paste this clip, which I think, I mean, personally, I think this makes Destiny look like a dick. I mean, we already know the truth, but I'm just saying it makes him look like a dick. I think we fine in this case. So he's always been toxic. Yeah, notice he's like talking shit and then he like throws these, he makes it, first off, he makes a good point about Koreans switching over to LOL because that did happen. That did end up happening. Um, and now, you know, League ended up being like huge, super massive in, in China and Korea. Uh, so he was right. But the way he phrases such a dick is with an intro that in control could go back to winning. Thank you. Good night. Hangs up the phone. Oh my God. So fuck. <laughs> so fuck that guy, man. So that's the clip that every time we breathe. He gets someone links that clip. So when it says, what are they gonna post the same clip they've been posting for nine years? <laughs> so of course, Destiny fans mad. Destiny fans so mad. Do people even know that we st played Strip Halo with Miro's back in the day? He he mentioned it today in his stream. He mentioned it today in the stream. Uh so yeah, he knows. He knows. We've all done dumb shit in the past. Are you kidding me? We've all done questionable, dumb shit in the past. Except for me. Right, guys? No, I'm pretty sure I have probably done some, some shit I'm probably embarrassed about now. <laughs> for sure. Uh, so, so that's the video he gets linked for nine... Imagine, imagine, imagine being linked a fucking video more often than people around the world have gotten Rick rolled in total. Okay. It's gotta be, it's gotta be annoying. Mr. Military man. Shit, man. My old, my old, my, my shout cast, my first podcast I was doing back in 2001, 2000, something like that. I had the barracks girl come over. New barracks, no, the new barracks girl. New, let me put that quotes. She was, she was, she was basically somebody who's new. She comes over and she, uh, and we had an episode where, um, we were uh, uh, having uh, another uh, another soldier that we were uh, that we work with, uh, also a woman. Uh, we were taste testing. We, we tried a couple, but like yo, flavor condoms and shit, right? We put it on the microphone though, and we had her like taste them. So then we went and got the 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 new girl, uh, and we were like, hey, literally first day, literally first day, and we brought her in, and like she saw the condom wrappers and shell over the floor. And we asked her, we asked her if, if she would taste it for us. And she said, oh, hell no. And laughed and left. So yeah, you know, I've got some, that was one snippet of a show that we did back when shock jocking shit was like a huge thing, right? Everyone was trying to do the most obscene, absurd things. <sighs> so <laughs> I didn't create a new Twitter account so I can begin the cancellation process. <laughs> so, uh, Destiny fans are mad, right? They're 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 mad at Wheat. Uh, LSF, which is known to both like love and hate Destiny. Uh, like seriously, like <laughs> they fucking love and hate this guy. It's so weird. Uh, there's threads all over LSF. By the way, is live stream fail? Typically, it's 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 a pretty toxic community overall. But they have some weird moral like guidelines that go by and then they throw it out the window whenever something else comes up that for someone else they don't like it's so weird so he's he's cruising through here and he's reading some of the threads and yeah this is wheat today on his show today i was watching this vod trying to get some clips for you guys um <clears throat> but he did a three hour q a today on his own channel to talk about what's going on um the fact and just that he managed to get shit like this high up position so there you go yeah he's, he's, he's reading comments he the fact that he managed to get a high up position in Twitch shows how horrible he is and how horrible the company is. That's a really interesting take. <laughs> the, the fact that he got a high up position in Twitch shows how horrible he is. That's a really interesting take there, LSF. Thank you so much for that commentary. Wow, 520 upvotes. Well, people agree with you. Not a good look. It's so weird. <sighs> It's so fucking weird. There's so many. I hear Destiny, and all I can think about is is, is the game. Oh, well, good for you. Good for you. Destiny fans always mad though. Yeah. Well, they talk about the ban and the ban context for the ban. I think you guys need to, should know the context for the ban was that Destiny was doing. And I can't show you the video, right? Because he's banned. Uh, but he was doing. Whoops. Uh, he was doing a video uh, where 
So he's doing a stream where he had a uh, a, a, a viewer, or a visitor, or something, or some guest or somebody, uh, and they were talking about Hunter Biden or something. And uh, the the person in the picture in picture, about this spot this size right here, right, pulls up on, on on her phone a picture of I guess Hunter Biden having sex with somebody because that's just something that everybody just has readily available on their phones now, uh, and like holds it up to the camera like about this far away, right. And you can't see shit. It's about like that blurry in a picture in picture. Okay. You can't see shit. So Destiny got banned for that. He got banned for that, which I think is bullshit because context and intent. Right? So he got banned for that. So that's why that's why Destiny fans mad. That's why Destiny fans go after Wheat because he's doing a very ill-timed let's he should have waited until the ban was over, right? And then none of this would have happened. <laughs> if he waited until the ban was over and Destiny was back, none of this would have happened. None of this would have happened. They would let them alone. Um, didn't Destiny also get called out during the Me Too movement last year? I mean, I don't... Maybe. Fuck, I don't know. Is there somebody... It's easier to make a list of people who didn't get called out. They're in, they're in the gaming community. Uh, <laughs> you didn't know Destiny was a streamer until today. He's a debater streamer. Uh, he, has, he has a skill in talking very fast and over people. That is his number one skill. Kind of like a little Shapiro, right? Um... Every time I hear Hunter Biden, I just think of Joe Biden hunting gear. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. So, yo, know, Weed is talking a little bit about um, Destiny used to play StarCraft. Uh, I, used to, I think he used to cast StarCraft. He used to be on podcasts for StarCraft. Uh, but then everybody, I mean, nobody likes him. So he ended up doing his own thing or something. And he's just like, he's just toxic. I mean, overall, he's just a toxic fucking person. And all he'll do is like, if you, when you debate, when you watch any of his debates with people, like, I feel like he just fucking talks over people like loudly and fast. And that's pretty much all you get from him. So it's not even worth wasting your time. Uh, so, <clears throat> so we went today and he was, um, talking about what happened over the past 24 hours uh and he's talking about i mean here play this clip for you guys people don't want twitch to be a bunch of fucking corporate robotic drones and then when twitch employees are human suddenly they're like no go back to being corporate robotic drone yeah so i mean he's got a point he's got a point it's like we is not a corporate person in terms of communication. Is it a bad look? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. The way they, the way that he, uh, I mean, it's his own personal account, right? But the way that he approached some of the questions being asked and some of the answers he gave, which are very much in wheat fashion, um, in terms of how that looks from a company perspective, that doesn't look good. Now, what kind of company is Twitch running? Are they trying to be corporate? Are they trying to be corporate and have everybody be corporate drones? Or are they okay with this edginess? <clears throat> Does he look really old in his stream? Dude, he's like 44. He started growing gray and he's like 25 though. So um, he's going full Lebowski, I know. <laughs> I do love the, the fucking sweater and the Atari shirt. Uh, I haven't seen Wheat in a while. He, was, he has the angry old man and his porch vibe going on. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm 40. That's what I'm saying. He's 44. Like he's not. He's not. He's not that old. But he's he's got a lot of gray though. It's a lot of gray. Uh, it was all the stress from those <laughs> from the South Koreans. Um, so he goes on and he, you know, uh, that does not look like a natural. Trust me, it's a natural gray. Uh, he goes on. He talks about, um, you know, people want us to be, uh, like communicative and, uh relatable but whenever we do that then people get mad because it's not the way that they want and i mean we all know here that's the way the internet works right it's like you need to say the things we want you to answer this question but answer it the way that i want you to answer it right that's the that's the way majority of the internet functions <clears throat> so i think you know, he's there's another clip here. He's he talks about his uh, uh, his tweets. Thing because apparently um, it's really interesting because apparently also like I'm not allowed to be myself on Twitter is what I I kind of found out this week or you know when it is about certain topics or people don't necessarily like what I say, 
then suddenly I am, you know, not allowed to troll, to shitpost, to post on Twitter, right? Even though literally what everyone else in channel is doing right now is shitpost. Yeah. So, one second. Yes, buddy. Mom just yelled at me. Okay, you have to go talk to mom, okay? I can't help you right now. Talk to mom about it. About it. So, he brings up a good point. He's not allowed to be himself on Twitter. He's not allowed to be himself on Twitter. The terms of service, I believe, say that... Well, he said that mom yelled at him, so I told him that that's something that he has to deal with mom. Don't come to dad for that. Uh, the terms of service, I believe, also covers things that partners do on other platforms, um, which in turn, I mean, granted, that's mostly for people who maybe say like racist things or sexist things or just overall like real dickish things or whatever. But at the same time, it does make us representatives of Twitch uh, on other platforms that are publicly visible, right? I mean, private. I mean, if I said something like racist on my on my Facebook, which is private, uh, I'll probably lose my partnership for that if somebody screenshotted that and sent that out, for sure. Uh, so it definitely makes us accountable for the things that we say on other platforms. So this, to me, is Wheat's kind of coming to the realization that he can't be himself uh, as often as he wants to on social media because he is a representative of the company, especially him especially him um no nobody's allowed to be themselves on twitter these days yeah and, and and you know this stream went down on his personal channel and it was just bombarded with people being mad the chat was just blowing up people being mad um like question marks question marks oh destiny this whatever and it wasn't all about destiny you know people the focus was still on um you know, on the on the content and stuff like that, the content that we're seeing with uh, you know uh, 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 hot tub streamers and all that, um, I think that you should be held accountable for wrong things you say, but you should not be held accountable for having an opinion that isn't possible. That is impossible. Twitch knew who we was when they hired him. Exactly. Well, Twitch is a very different company now, all right? Um, so you know whether or not. Uh, so hopefully, Wheat's persona, uh, or his, I call it persona, but his personality still jives well with the current vision of the company. Uh, he's still employed, so I'd imagine it probably does. Uh, but I can't, I can't imagine that everything that he's done in the past 24 hours has been, while he has said in this, in this exact, in this same VOD, he has said that he stands behind everything he said. I can't, I can't speak to, you know, everybody else in the company looking at that and saying, you know what? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's totally a great way to handle those things. We thanks. Go, go ahead. Go for it. Because some of the, I mean, like I, I, for me, I'm just like, ah, some of the things, maybe, like I said before, it's like, you know, maybe be a little bit more elaborative in your answers if you're going to answer something. Otherwise, you're going to have like five or six tweets, and then finally they're going to get the answer out of you anyway. So why don't you say that stuff at the beginning? But, you know, he's got a lot of questions. People are still got to link him that video that he did nine years ago. Let him know what's up, right? Um, the, uh, see, I wouldn't be surprised if he felt he's done as much as he can for Twitch and kind of wants a way out. Just speculation. Oh, wow. That's some serious speculation. <laughs> there are consequences for your actions, but you can, uh, you cannot take stuff from 20 years ago and use it against them today. Different times. People get educated and change. It doesn't matter what they do. The boundaries will just shift somewhere else. Uh, this is why you have two Twitters. One is your PR one and one, uh, one is hidden, the, the hidden you. Yeah. Uh, I actually have a couple of, uh, colleagues who are, um, who have private accounts that they just talk shit about the companies they work for. Not really the companies they work for, but the people that they have to deal with uh, from those companies. Um, anyway, so, <clears throat> of course, the question comes up. Uh, here. Would you want to see your kids watch things from just chatting? Just because it was a little quiet. Would you, would you let your kids watch things from just chatting? I don't know how the answer to that question is relevant to anything. How I choose to parent is is my choice. Is it? It is. He's just spying to it's completely relevant, somebody says in chat. I mean, is obviously coming from a lot of people who have never been a parent before. 
How funny, crime. <laughs> I can 100% guarantee that the person asking the question is not a parent themselves. Yeah, I have to agree with that. Um, trying to use... You know, would you let your kids do blank or whatever uh, in these kind of scenarios is is silly. Like, would I let Declan watch Just Chatting? No, because I don't let Declan watch Twitch. <laughs> I don't let him watch Twitch, right? Why? Because I'm a parent, you know? It is. Do I let Declan just fucking just go out and just raw dog fucking YouTube? No, I pick the things that he can watch. Ridiculous. And he's a third grade. He's second grade. Make a code better than most of you guys actually now. <laughs> but no, there's reasons for this, right? As a parent, you learn as you go. I think I've played this before, but I'll play it again. This is the reason why Declan is not allowed to just f fucking just go and freely run th roam through YouTube. <laughs> Are you coming on to me? Hey, if you wanna be gay, that's cool, but I ain't no robo homo. I'm totally for homosexual marriage, but I just don't know where I stand on the whole adoption issue just yet. I heard you the whole time. I'm not having sex with you. <sighs> so, this video will show up if you have the uh, kids filter that YouTube has enabled. Um, <clears throat> and when Declan comes over and he asks me questions like, what is rape? Why? He asked that. Because in this video, you heard it. Aha, uh -huh, trying to rape me, are you? When he said, what is a homo? What is all this stuff? Like, and he was like, four? <laughs> He's like, four or something like that? Like, that's when I realized that those filters are not good enough. They're just not good enough. And so as a parent, as a parent, I made the decision to not allow him to use certain platforms without some kind of like manual filter or just not use them entirely, right? So to, so as we talking about this, he's like, this has no relevance to anything because yeah, because like, I, I, yeah, I don't let Declan watch just chatting because I don't let him on Twitch because it's completely unfiltered, unmoderated stuff that happens live. There's stuff on there. I don't want him to see, you know, like there's, a, and it's, it's just, it's, there's no way to whitelist channels. If I found like a solid Terraria streamer and I watched him for like a week or something, and I saw this person was just like, they got on, they played or whatever, and they didn't like curse up a storm. I mean, a little bit of cursing's fine, right? The curse up a storm or like look at fucking hot tub fucking streams and commentate on, commentate on them. Like, you know, it's like, Hey, maybe I'll whitelist this, but I don't have a way to do that right now. Uh, well through Twitch's tools. So yeah, it does not really relevant there. And it's to his point, it's like probably from people who don't have kids. <clears throat> so <sighs> all takes a point zero one second exactly, which is why I'm not even gonna fuck with it right now. Why? Why? Why would I let him? Why would I let him? Why would I let him? Don't even. Uh, with the amount of information into the internet, it's literally impossible to filter all of it to an auto with an automated system. It cannot be done. I reported that video so many times, man, and it's old as fuck. It's old as fuck. It's October fourth, two thousand thirteen. And it has still been, it is still, it's still there and it's still available through the, with the kids filter enabled. So I don't know. Um, I know they have thousands and thousands of thousands and thousands, hundreds of millions of videos that come from every single day. I know, I know, but still it's just, that's why as a parent, I just say, you know what? I can't rely on any kind of platform to do the work for me. I have to be a parent. So when Declan's old enough to look at titties, then I will let him. And to me, that's like nine. I'm like nine, right? Nine. You could watch a hot tub stream. I'll just ban all the other sites, but not eight. Eight's too young, man. We don't even want to watch in some parts of uh, Winter Soldier. Come on. <laughs> nine's pretty good. Probably around uh, nine, 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 thousand nineteen. <laughs> nine to ten. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. See, that's probably fine. <laughs> We'll, 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 we'll address that as it comes though. So Declan, sorry, Declan, jeez. Uh, so do the history by the age of nine. Um, so Wheat says, uh, 
thank you, but no apologies necessary. I took on this role knowing what doors it was potentially opening. I hope this community will understand I'm an ally and I want what's best for creators in Twitch. I want us to work together to make Twitch the best it can be. So, yeah, this is uh, this was yeah, yesterday after the stream. Uh, so yeah, this is like I said at the beginning. It's when you first are when you first launch a show like this after having such a huge gap you're gonna have and also ill-timed with like with the you know the word destiny and destiny and weed's history right destiny being banned oh my god it's weed's fault he doesn't work in that department but they don't care um yeah it's just it was just poorly timed nothing you do about it and also lots of you know just lots of people are just really upset about like all kinds of stuff so does twitch need more competition other than youtube I mean, I think YouTube is doing just fine in terms of like competition wise. I mean, YouTube is so much worse than Twitch. Like Twitch, Twitch, like we, we bitch about, you know, uh, hot tub streamers and all that stuff. But like, you could go to YouTube and just search like naked yoga and you'll see like, I mean, I can't even search it because the thumbs have titties in them. Okay. There's like tons and tons and tons of content available that's straight up nudity in it. You know, nude yoga. Oh yeah. The top video is pretty good too, by the way. So I still think, I still think that my suggestion that I made yesterday, the yard, the yard work meta, I still think this is something that could be a thing, right? I found this guy. He's just doing yard work. He's just doing yard work. Just walking around. Look at, he's like, he grabbed the rakes, has raking stuff. He's doing work. Look at that, moving stuff around the yard, cleaning up. Come on. Come on. It could be a thing. It could be a thing. We could do it. Pool cleaning stream. Hey. Maybe. It's possible. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh oh Ooh, what are we doing here? <laughs> toss! Toss violation! <laughs> he did it on purpose. <laughs> He's wearing baggy shorts. You can't see anything. <laughs> oh man. Uh. <sighs> Show me your date. Pool boy streams, male version of hot tub streams. I mean, I'll, I'll probably go, I could go clean up my pool for a couple hours every day. <laughs> exact amount of cows on a tractor while working the ranch is streaming service is horrible though. There was a guy who had like a drone that would follow him for some parts of his stream. Uh, I you, I think I think Tano, I think you and I shared that, uh, or maybe you shared it with me or something like a long time ago. But yeah, people have done that. People have done that. Um, I've applied to be a pool boy for years, years. You gotta start lifting, bro. Uh, are you still pool? Are you still a pool boy if you're graying? Dang, dang. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Moving on. Activision. Again. That was just the first story. We're like an hour deep in this bitch. <laughs> Activision makes headlines again. This time, they tapped Crash Bandicoot and Spyro team, you, you, the, the, the new releases we had in 2019 and last year, I think, um, to work on uh, Call of Duty, which means that the list of uh, Activision development studios uh, includes Infinity Ward, Treyarch, Raven Software, Sledgehammer, uh, Games, Binox, uh, High Moon Studios, Toys for Bob, Activision, Shanghai, Demonware, all... Working on Call of Duty. All! <laughs> We're going to be playing Call of Duty for the rest of our lives. It's, it's, dude, it's the, it's the, fuck. It's the, it's the game that's never going to die. It's just never going to, yeah, 100 years of Call of Duty. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. As everybody said, I did not see that. Um, they made an official announcement. They said, uh, Toys for Bob is proud to support development for season three of Call of Duty Warzone and look forward to more to come. Hashtag let's go. Death squads. Verdance 84. 
It's a demolition man. Yeah, the Taco Bell of the franchise wars. Exactly. Exactly. And so some rumors spread immediately, right? This person, Crash Bandicoot Clubhouse, uh, says, uh, seeing a lot of concerns here from people, relax, Toys for Bob have been just been roped in to help out here. This is not at all implied that they've been moved to become a dev team for Call of Duty development. And he says, well, damn, folks, looks like I owe a big apology. Please do bear in mind that I'm only use, I'm only just finding out the news this morning. Uh, man, this is saddening to hear but this, uh, that this is happening. My sincere apologies to everyone regarding this matter. I'm in shock to know that we only have Beanox. Um... And then, uh, and then they go on and kind of keep going. So, so <clears throat> the word is, the rumor is that they let go or that they, um, they let go of staff and they're working exclusively on, um, on Call of Duty now. So basically they're not working on any of the other, you know, Crash or any other game, Spyro. This person here says, uh, he, who's apparently a contractor for the company, says, although everyone I interfaced with and worked worked along uh, was let go, I'm very glad it's not totally shuddering. Um, now, the games, the ratings for the games that they put out, uh, we have Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy. It's got an 8.4 user score, 8.1 user score for Spyro, uh, 8.1 user score for Crash Bandicoot, uh, and 8.8 for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, which we played on stream and it was really, really good. So the all these games did really well in terms of rating. In terms of sales, I don't know. And all these games are all within, like, you know, except for, you know, well, we'll get about four years. But the last two here was Crash Bandicoot 4 to 2020 and then also another 2020 here like you know these these games are doing pretty good um my yeah money money bigger than ratings yeah exactly i mean it, it shows that because call of duty is strictly just just simply more um making more money that they're willing to sacrifice these projects to move them over to this prod to 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 the the larger uh uh, uh you know project that they're working on which is call of duty um so, you know, anytime Activision acquires a company, you have to just assume that eventually they're going to work on Call of Duty at this point. Um, in this update that we got, Activision denies laying off anyone. It says the studio is continuing to support Crash Bandicoot 4 as it works on Warzone. So... Activision's denying some of the stuff that, you know, the, the, that w we've read on Twitter. Um, but overall, still, like, it's still, it's, it's still one of those things. Like, they're just, it's like the Borg just being assimilated. At least not EA Graveyard. Yeah, yeah, EA, yeah, EA shutters. But, uh, you know, these, you know, Activision just reuses that. So at least they're not doing a ton of layoffs. I mean, that's the good news. You're just not gonna, you know, maybe get... You know, your favorite games. Like, imagine if, like, I don't know, it's a game that everybody loves. Like, Valheim, right? The Valheim devs got picked up to work, uh, uh, or picked up by Activision. Now we would just assume that, oh, so they're going to be working on the next Call of Duty or something. Because that's just the way that we've seen with that huge list. Uh, that's just the way they work. Um, Vicarious Visions was, was also retasked with um, working exclusively on Blizzard games. So... Yeah, like right now, it's like we're 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 getting to the point to where everything underneath the Activision Blizzard umbrella uh, is being pared down, and we're gonna have so few titles be released from them. Like all the work is gonna go into just a handful of titles. It's gonna be like Call of Duty on one side, and probably something Warcraft related on the other, and Overwatch, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, just in the past, you know, week or so, we've had. Um, We've had people, you know, well, we've had, uh, 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 um, oh my God, I'm a brain, brain fart right now. Uh, Mr. Overwatch, <laughs> my fucking brain is just gone. Uh, we lost, we lost him, uh, and we've lost, uh, uh, Vicarious Visions, Jeff Kaplan, thank you so much. God, I don't know what's wrong. Uh, Vicarious Visions, uh, Toys for Bob, and the other list, the other huge list that we showed you guys. Putting all your eggs in one basket and franchise fatigue, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, what happens, right? I guess they could go back to working on other games and then we'll get the games that we want, but that seems, I mean, I have to say it like this, but it seems unfair. You know, it just seems unfair. Like, if you love a game, like if I was a big Spyro fan and, or Crash Bandicoot fan, and the company got picked up by, and this happened to the company that makes the game, 
I'll be like, well, damn, it fucking sucks. I don't play Call of Duty. I guess I'll just not play that game anymore. You know? Um, I you say I, I said that would happen a decade ago. I was wrong. About which part? Everyone working on a rock and roll racing sequel? Yeah. Please. But at least, at least, Bobby Kotick is taking a 50% pay cut. Woo! He's taking a 50% pay cut. Uh, $875,000 is taken off of his, uh, his pay. Uh, and it says right here, it says, in line with this, Kotick also agreed to reduce his target annual bonus by 50%, a potential reduction of $1.75 million for fiscal years 21 and 22. However, Kotick also agreed to reduce his target. Sorry, uh, Kotick is still uh, eligible to earn up to 200% of his reduced base salary due to exceptional favors detailed in an extension amendment. So, so he's, he might still make that same amount. Uh, he already got his money. Well, I mean, I have this right here. How much? How much is he worth? Let's go and pull this over. So says here that the estimated net worth of Robert A. Kotick is at least $481 million as of 31 March 2017. A long time ago. Uh, Mr. Kotick owns over 2,400 units of Activision Blizzard stock. Crime, did you find another link about how much stock he owns? Because I'm going to get on that sec uh, section in just a second. If you have that link, please. Um... It says that over the, last, over the last 17 years, he sold stock worth over 450 something million. So crime, crime uh, says that uh, he currently, this is 2017 numbers, by the way, uh, that he has 4 million shares, right? So in terms of how much he's worth or whatever, that number could be astronomical, especially considering the Activision back in February announced that they're going to be doing a stock buyback, which generally uh, increases the uh, increases the price of the of the stock, and I'll show you what happened when they announced that here. Um, let me go back six months, and you could see here uh, Activision stock. I mean, we're looking at was a February eighteenth, February mid February, something like that, right? The stock's all time high, pretty much. Yeah, look at that all time high. Uh, and this happened in was this February? I think it was February. Yeah, February fifth. So. Jacks all, yeah, jacks that price all up. That's right, and so yeah, it, they they stand to 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 gain a lot of money here, just off stock. So he could take he could take fifty percent off of his pay. He could just forego his pay altogether, and he would still make pff, stupid money. Four million shares, right? Crying like four million shares. They still make just an absurd amount of money. He doesn't need he doesn't need his pay anymore. So people are hoping. People are hoping that that money that doesn't go to him can go to expand teams, can go to support you know, new gaming ventures, uh, could go towards another Call of Duty franchise. Um, but isn't that isn't that so like almost dystopian? Like we're reducing one guy's pay by 50 percent and all of these hopes and dreams as if as if the company won the lottery of things that they could do with that money right what people what people would want them to do with that money that is that there's something wrong <laughs> there is something painfully painfully wrong uh with just industry as in a general in general right to allow that kind of stuff to happen um, a company decides to buy back stock, but most of the stock is owned by people running said company. Something's wrong with this picture. Yep. Welcome to the world of 1%. No, I know. I, I, there's no welcome. I, I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kind of like, you know, I got the big, I got the big arrow out. Right. So cool, man. Maybe we could, we could, uh, solve all kinds of problems. One guy to take that 50% pay, pay cut while also gaining an absurd amount of money in stocks later on. But my trickle down economics, I know, I know. Oh gosh. Yeah, if we make this guy rich, we'll make us rich. Exactly. Exactly. <sighs> Lastly, because we're over time. Lastly, I know you guys are gonna love this. June 6th. Which is a Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Live on pay-per-view. Floyd Mayweather versus 
Jake Paul, the YouTuber. Wait, it's Jake Paul, right? Logan Paul. Logan Paul, Paul, that that guy, that guy, one of the Pauls. So he just had his fight just recently. Paul did uh, with a retired MMA fighter. And he knocked him out in like two seconds. He hit him pretty hard. He, he caught the guy off guard, hit him pretty hard. Knocked him out. Um, but now he's going to go against Floyd Mayweather. I don't know what to expect, but I really hope that he gets his fucking face punched in like so fucking hard. I hope. I hope. Damn it. He's, yeah, Mayweather's retired. Yeah, uh, maybe one day Paul's going to actually step in and actually fight people who are actively playing, right? But uh, they're actively fighting. But uh, for right now, he's going through, you know, all the champions. He might, I mean, shit, he might, he might uh, dig up Muhammad Ali and just punch him in the face and call it a win, you know? Like, shit, man, he's, he's really going for it. And film it. Hey, guys, want to see a dead body? Shit. Paul's counting on the hate, and he's making bank on it. That's right. Mayweather only taking the fight because he doesn't want Paul to have an undefeated streak. Well, we'll see. Uh, and then take how much Mayweather to bet against himself with those odds. Man, he made with us so much money. But you know what? Sometimes it's not enough. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you can have all the money in the world. It's not enough, right, Bobby? So <sighs> another eight hours until wait until the main event. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Don't worry. What if if you want to watch it, you can watch it. It'll it'll it's gonna be everywhere. It's gonna be everywhere. And if you don't want to watch it, it's fine. The 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 final fight is gonna be like the the relevant parts are gonna be posted on Reddit within seconds of it going uh uh of it being over. Uh, oh, I like this. So uh, celebrity death matches the future. MTV was right exactly. Imagine the odds in that fight. Now throw a couple million into those odds. How much pride will you swallow for $200 million? Didn't he get $200 million for his last fight? Floyd Mayweather? What the hell? 2017 as a one time. Yeah. Stupid. There's a post on Instagram how much money he made. I mean, good for him, man. Duke could fight. <laughs> but that was four years ago, man. I don't know. I know Paul. Paul's an up a comer. You know? Anyways, that's it. That's it. My name is Mike BAK Phony. Thank you so much, chat. For sticking out it was a long one today i think it was it felt like it was a long one today thank you so much expecting news on the swain but we covered it last week little 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 josh one we're all good get out of here mike chat you can hang out for a second the rest of you on youtube goodbye